So for the cervical foraminal compression test or the Sperling's test, the purpose of the test is to assess for cervical nerve root compression. A positive test is going to be reproduction of the patient's uh, radicular symptoms, including their neck and extremity pain. Neck pain alone is not considered a positive test. So how we're going to do this, we're going to take one hand, we're going to monitor at the cervical thoracic junction. We're going to take our other hand and we're going to uh, place it on the top of their head and we're going to add an axial compression and then ask about uh, reproduction of their symptoms. To exaggerate the compression of the nerve root, we can add extension, side bending, and rotation to one side, then add our longitudinal compression, and then we would retest on the other side with extension, side bending, rotation, and longitudinal compression.